disrupted poor quality sleep is pandemic. Now, more than ever, people are not getting the sleep they need. Last year, in the United States alone, more than one million sleep studies were performed to assist those with poor sleep, and next year the number will rise. Unfortunately, only a fraction of this collected data is examined. Different hardware configurations, data storage formats, and necessary medical and privacy placed restrictions make collecting and analyzing this data difficult. A software solution designed to individually and holistically analyze a patient's sleep under numerous configurations and across large diverse data sets has not existed until now. The Stanford EEG Viewer, or SEV, was created for this purpose. The SEV provides a graphical user interface that lets users easily load signal data that has been recorded during nocturnal polysomnography studies. This sleep data can be moved, resized, and directly manipulated in a variety of ways to suit the user's visual preference. Power spectral density plots are easily obtained by selecting signal portions of interest. This information is helpful in characterizing and better understanding the data. The frequency spectrum may be estimated using fast Fourier transform-based periodogram averaging or the multiple signal components algorithm. Window type, duration, and overlap interval are configured from the settings menu. The spectrum can also be shown on a per epoch basis for a selected channel in the SEV's utility window, seen in the lower left-hand corner. The SEV provides efficient hooks into the MATLAB environment it was programmed in. This gives advanced users direct access to MATLAB's complete library of data manipulation functions, providing direct, low-level access to the data. Common statistics of selected data are readily obtained from the SEV as well. Both previously published and organic eye movement detection algorithms were implemented in the SEV for the purpose of examining rapid eye movement sleep in patients suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder. Detection algorithm specific parameters are adjustable on the fly, letting users see the effects of different settings on their data. PSG data is often contaminated with unwanted artifacts or noise which often leads to erroneous detection results. Common finite impulse response filters, as well as several non-linear filters, are available and can be cascaded within the SEV to clean data. A toolbox for wavelet analysis is also available and has proved useful in pre-processing ocular channels. The impact of various wavelet kernels, decomposition levels, and noise thresholds can be observed quickly and directly on a sample of data before applying the wavelet configuration to the entire channel. Adaptive filtering is another useful feature, which is necessary to remove unwanted electrocardiogram interference when looking for periodic leg movements, or PLMs, in the electromyogram channels. The final detection algorithm used to investigate PLM in general and clinical populations and its genetic basis, apart from restless leg syndrome, was developed and optimized entirely using the SEV. Examining individuals on a case-by-case -case basis is helpful, but so is examining sleep on a population basis, and the SEV's batch mode sets it apart from anything else. Here. A cohort of over 2,000 patient studies is being configured for processing. In addition to regular EDF channels, new channels can be synthesized and configured for processing. Any of the SEVS detectors may be run on specific channels to detect phasic events or artifacts. When optimal detector settings are unknown, a range of parameters may be established to iterate through and try for each study with no additional loading overhead. Selecting a gold standard dataset lets users determine sensitivity and specificity trade-offs of different configurations. Output formats include tab delimited text file, my SQL database entry, or even screen captures of detected sections of data. A simple viewer can be used to quickly observe a detector's performance on any or all studies. 
The same configurations and methods available in the individual study mode for analyzing the power spectral density of sleep can be applied to any number of channels across entire cohorts. Post-processing SEV output may be accomplished using any statistical package or software custom-built for a particular aim. The Pheno Finder, shown here, is one such tool developed specifically to examine power spectral output from the SEV according to sleep stage and demographic. The software was helpful in examining phenotypes and selecting sigma power for genome-wide association analysis. Processing time varies. It may take five to eight hours to evaluate power and phasic events with multiple settings in a cohort of 2,000 studies. A task readily left to the SEV so researchers can work on their sleep.